Now, another thing that I would like to draw attention to is the following. So, so this is V i. this is V O. Uh, so, right when we uh, look at an LC uh, resonant network, we always uh, uh, say that at resonance or at the center frequency, the impedance of the offered by the LC parallel network is infinite, right? because the uh, inductive impedance and the capacitive in impedance cancel each other. What should you expect now intuitively? It should be large, but it will not be infinite. Why? Very good, right? So basically, we should expect that uh, the uh, we know that V O by V I at uh, F S is not one, but eight over pi square. So therefore, we should expect that Z naught of J two pi F S uh, is uh, is not infinity okay but uh, you know presumably some large value let's calculate what that large value is so if this is vi this uh, vo is nothing but at the frequency fs it's nothing but h0 of j2 pi fs times so if vi is uh, vi is e to the j2 pi fs times t then this is h0 of j2 pi fs times e to the j2 pi fs times t right and therefore uh, what comment can you make about the current flowing through the resistor that's all right so i is nothing but e to the j 2 pi f s times t times 1 minus h 0 of j 2 pi f s that is the difference in voltage divided by Okay. All right, and so for therefore, what is uh, Z naught of J two pi F S is nothing but the voltage V zero by We are trying to find the looking in impedance of uh, this set of four capacitors, which are periodically switching, right? The voltage V naught is known, correct? Uh, and the current I is also known. So V naught by I, and therefore V naught is nothing but H zero of J two pi F s times E to the J two pi F s times T this divided by E 1 minus H 0 of J 2 pi F s times E to the J 2 pi F s times T times R s, right, which therefore uh, it is easy to see that this goes away, right, and uh, this is going to be 
R s times h 0 is 8 over pi square divided by 1 minus 8 over pi square which is R s times 8 divided by pi square minus 8. So, at the 4 at the center frequency the looking in impedance of this so called switch capacitor resonator is 8 R s by pi square minus 8 which uh, is approximately pi square is about uh, uh, 10, uh, 10 minus 8 is 2 is up roughly about uh, 4 R s right. If the gain was infinite, then it should be infinite all right. So, uh, if you go on increasing the number of uh, uh, phases right. So, for example, if you made uh, an eighth path filter right, where each uh, phase is uh, now on for a uh, T s by 8, what comment can we make about uh, uh, you know uh, all these qu uh, quantities and what comment can we make about the gain for instance in the limit in the limit as the number of phases become infinite right what comment can you uh, um, uh, make with respect to uh, the gain at f s in the limiting case let us say you have an infinite bank of capacitors right each with an infinite similarly uh, small uh, width yeah, clock width. No, average not be 2 by pi, it will be exactly what that input voltage is at that point correct. So, the voltage across the different capacitors will be the same as the input sine wave. So, if you look at the, the output voltage, it will be a sine wave which whose amplitude is the same as that of the input. So, the gain will be 1 right, if the gain is 1 the uh, uh, yeah. So, the limiting case So, this is V i, this is R s and then you have pi 1 let us say blah 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 right. So, and then each one of these is infinite simile. So, this is an example phi 1 correct and if you put a cosine here what will happen this will sample the cosine uh, at uh, you know at, at one point right. So, the voltages across these capacitors will actually do will do this correct. right. So, they will go from, so this is these are the V c s correct. So, this will go all the way from 1 to I mean uh, back here correct. So, the voltage here is therefore, going to be exactly yeah. So, V o. So, as n tends to infinity V o by V i at f s is going to be 1 and uh, z in of j 2 pi f s is going to be infinite all right. Uh, 
Another thing that I would like to draw your attention to uh, with this case is the following. See one strange thing that we are seeing here or seemingly strange thing is that the looking in impedance of this circuit, yeah, the looking in impedance towards the right uh, it depends on on RS which uh, is something that we will never see in a time invariant circuit, right. Uh, so, Z naught of J 2 pi f s depends on on R s, right, which is which is something which is uh, 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 this is due to LPTV behavior. Okay, the only thing uh, we can say is that the uh, uh, Z naught, right, has contributions from frequency uh, frequencies other than other than uh, uh, that of uh, F s because of time varying behavior and basically uh, uh, you know those components uh, are all responsible for the uh, they depend evidently on on R s and therefore, it is uh, uh, not surprising that it depends on uh, R s right. The only uh, valid treatment of impedance I mean you cannot I mean this Z naught which relates the, the fundamental voltage to the fundamental current. Uh, uh, is uh, uh, is only one part of that Z uh, uh, that uh, that matrix, right? Which relates the harmonic components of the voltage developed across uh, the network to the harmonic components of the currents being injected, right? So uh, and therefore you can have a, a component at F S due to down conversion of current set at uh, high uh, you know frequencies of the form f s plus multiples of 